Welcome back to another segment of the FD build. Today we finally get some goodies from Japan, some quality HKS intakes. And there they are all nice and laid out. And look at this, I, I freaking love the knob on this thing that shows HKS since 1973. That's super rad that they had that on here. We yeah, have just like everything on here, the build quality is pretty rad. So if you guys have been watching the build series, on the last episode, I finally got the intake manifold or upper intake manifold on, got the pretty much all the restoration stuff that was bad, good now. So there it is in its glory, but now we're gonna put some goodies on this side, on the turp skis. Just to give an idea what it could look like in the car. I like how they put this on the box, but inside it came with all the hoses and couplers. I kind of wish these were black, but that is okay. Um, hoses to attach to the white pipe and the charge valve. Oh, I think this guy's for the van relay. So anyway, it came with instructions. Also came with a gasket for the turbo inlet, but I have a, a metal gasket. I think this is just um, that Teflon or whatever it is. Does this come in English? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, yeah, it came in uh, English as well. So yeah, let's get started and put this thing on. First part of this installation, it gives you a bracket for the fan relays. So it tells you, so your fan relays, there's two here, two on the bottom, and then they give you a bracket to uh, place on the top half. And then you take your uh, your lower ones and then you move them over here. And I actually was missing the boot for these relays. So if any of you guys have like an extra one, please send me a message because I like to put this on correctly. So I had to take a heat gun to the outer here because I couldn't get it to fit on this bracket. So I just added some heat to get the rubber to expand. There's also a disclaimer saying like, if you're running the HKS super sequential, don't do this step because uh, these relays will run into the BOV. But since I'm running a different BOV, uh, we went ahead and just did this. They give you a really nice diagram of how everything connects onto the car. Like over here goes to your vacuum lines, to your uh, to your Y pipe, to your uh, air pump. I believe this is where the BOV goes into. So your BOV and then charging relief. But since I'm not running, I'm running an aftermarket BOV and I'm running the factory uh, charge relief valve. So when I put those in, um, I need to run like a 90. So it goes into this piping system here. But since I don't have the air pump and with the new Y pipe, they moved the, the pickup over from here to here. So I'm just gonna cap this off. But since there is again, no air pump, I don't need to run that. So I'll probably cap that off on um, the intake piping itself. Next, we're gonna get the primary turbo piping on. So we got filter, hose clamp, coupler, hose clamp with attachment for connecting to the secondary. And then this is, your, I'm about to show you guys, this is already installed on the car. But I just wanted to show you guys too, which is just super, super nice is, this is red and it matches the car very well. I, I just like all of a sudden like got that. I'm like, oh, good on me for picking red. I got the hose clamp on with the coupler. What's really nice about this is it gives you, you can turn this or tilt it any way you want. So I have mine like all the way over so I'm not running into anything here. And you gotta have your HKS logo sitting up top. So that's what I'm trying to go for. So it's extremely weird, but I had to use a flathead to kind of peel the coupling over the lip on the uh, piping, but it got it to work. I just thought it'd be a little bit easier to put the stuff on. Able to get it on, front portion's done. So I'm gonna end up working now on this guy. But before I did that, I just ended up taking the charge relief out and installing that. So they provided a 90, which is rubber, which I would like to switch out at some point for a silicone one, because it's just gonna get brittle with all the heat from the turbo sucking into this thing. So eventually I like to switch that out, but 
let's put on this uh the second piping and see what we have look at that pretty nice if i say so myself so again with these guys if you're running the stock vov and the stock wide pipe you would have a nipple that came out of here that went into the bov into this line so since i don't have that i'm going to run an aftermarket bov i'm going to cap this end and this end or if you were doing the pettit with this uh, intake system you would kind of have to run some sort of like s something but um your bov would come off this line and then into here or you could probably do something from here to here and cap this off but i'm going to cap both of these with this off since i'm running the aftermarket bov capping this end off and then the only thing that is being utilized is just the factory charge valve so i'll probably have to ask like later or maybe you guys can help me out i'd like to figure out some sort of like heat shielding here so I'm not just constantly sucking up hot air. If you guys could maybe, I mean, I'll do my research too, see if there's any pre-made like heat shields or where I could go to maybe purchase some sheet metal to build one, but that would be the goal here it would be really nice. So I'm not defeating the purpose of getting some nice cool air into this thing, so. I'm liking it so far, it's looking pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the kit. Don't forget that there's a bracket here to support both intake filters and uh that's really it just make sure you tighten up the lines oh yeah and don't forget to add these two lines to your factory lines so this one or these two go to energized oil injection and then these two uh, i believe goes to your pcv so um, with all this off you'll see that this line ends over here but it goes into your uh, oil fill tube so i think it's just like a positive crankcase ventilation and then this will plumb into this guy and then I have it routed through the rat's nest that um, gets plumbed into the oil injection system. So I'm gonna hook these guys up. I'm pretty sure you guys don't wanna see that, but that's gonna be it for now. If you guys can do me a favor, just like always, if you wanna continue with the rotary uh, build, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out quite a bit. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.